Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I actually have a review slash feature. And I get to drive this. So let's get stuck in. and the yellow stitch on the back seats as well, which is awesome. You've got to love that. Now, with the DC2, I think the interior, considering it's a 2000 car, is great. Do you not think? Yeah. Oh, I don't think it doesn't look dated, no, it doesn't look dated place, sort of no. thing. Like, you obviously got an upgraded head unit in here as well, awesome. so you can listen to a UK radio, I assume. Yeah. The only thing I'm a bit disappointed of, I've got to be honest with these things, you know, I'm very grateful for you letting me drive it, but I, I don't think it's fair if I just butt lick the whole car the whole time. Um, but these are blue. Yeah, I don't know. The door cards here. Yeah, I don't, I'll show you on I'll put an overlay on. The door cards are blue. Uh with the yellow seats, I feel like they should have been like yellow maybe. Or maybe they've been too much yellow, but still much. black or something. Yeah, like I just I, think I, it's I a bit know. weird. There's no other blue in the car, no, which I find a bit I have no idea. But driving position is amazing. Like we've been out in it a little while just so I can get used to it and also pick up a drink, which I'm gonna have another sip of now. Yeah, I'm really, really like it. This is my first time of what I'd say properly driving a DC2. I've driven a couple before, but they've only been brief, little um, little drives sort of thing, not a... Uh, Same as this. No, mate. I'll tell you what, another thing is what, what, what I've noticed as well. It turns so many heads. Yes. Just yes. everybody, like from grandparents to kids in courses, like, it's it's awesome, man. I, I, I love it. And i tell you what, I love how fast it changes direction and how pinpoint and accurate, so, accurate it is. It's like... So nice. It's really, really nice. See, look, all of those people looking at the whip. So, modifications. Let's run via those. Modifications. Uh, right, instantly the big one that we... The channel, if, the, if the, you know, these people may not know, they might be oh. new to the channel that have clicked on it because it's the title or whatever, but yeah. we fitted our coilovers on Jason's car and obviously they're a product I'm very proud of and how do you find them, dude? Please, if you they don't are, like them, be honest. No, they are awesome. They are so awesome. The old ones I had on, I thought were all right, and then you put these on, and you get so much more confidence from them. Yeah, they really the are. The way they sort of stick you back to the road. I love this car. <laughs> oh. oh, man. So much fun. I have missed a high rev in <laughs> The B-Series is just... 
the best engine ever made. Honestly, I, I'm so, I think that's why I didn't get on with the DC that last DC5 I had because it was K series. Yeah. Like, and everyone that keeps going to me, you've got a K20 your EG. I'm like, I don't. I no. just want a B series. <laughs> like, I, I, there's something about them. Like they might not be the fastest, they might not be the loudest, but they are so much fun. Yes. Like, uh, and the smell. Can you beat that? That. The hoonage. Do you hoon it very often or am I going to no. be breaking this engine back in? You'll probably be breaking the engine back in. <laughs> I go mad, but I don't go like mad everywhere. I'm just like, yes, b -tech. Okay. Don't, I'm not going to go silly because obviously it's your car. It's your pride and joy. Oh, no. And I don't want everybody to think I'm an absolute... Like, I don't want to swear in this. <laughs> Today, like I said, I am driving Jason's DC2. It is relatively standard, which is obviously not what we normally do. We try and get as many like super maxed out cars as we can, so there's loads to talk about. But today, I wanted to really make it a Honda video, like a Honda tribute to the Integra, and I thought, what better than one of the rarest colour combos you can physically buy? Not a whole lot to look around, obviously, because it's a standard car, but I still want to show you it. The car itself is a 2000 Reg, as you can see, it's W, so it's a 2000 Honda Integra Type R. It is not a Type R X, so it doesn't have all the uh, folding mirrors and stuff like that. It is Phoenix Yellow from factory. It is a legit Phoenix Yellow DC2, so it's super rare as a colour because it wasn't the most popular um, from the factory. I'm not sure if it was like a extra, you know, cost for the paint and stuff like that, but I do assume it was an extra for the yellow seats. I, I can't say that for sure. But there we go. These are the yellow Recaro seats that Jason has in the car. Once again, they are a factory option from Honda and they are absolutely stunning. So over here, we have the Type R dials up here. You can see Type R dials with the Type R steering wheel. The dash has carbon mm. over here. Okay, so in here we have the yellow gear gator, yellow stitching on the back seats. I think that's such a cool little um, little trait on the on the Type R's, on the yellow ones especially. And then we go, we've just chucked that in. So also on the doors, this is the blue. I find that a bit bizarre. There's no other blue material in the car, so I don't know why they opted for the blue. Uh, we've got carbon on the uh, switches as well. Pretty cool. Also on the inside here, he has actually got a full set of genuine Integra Type R mats, and they are, once again, in really good condition. I can imagine some Americans are gonna be watching this going, oh, I'll give you some money. Another little thing I like, the Integra written into the, the dials around here. And then down here, we obviously have the Integra Type R plaque with the car's number on it. I love that. And so Momo, oh, I didn't realize that is a Momo steering wheel. I didn't know Momo made them for these. Very cool. Because it's, it's got no ABS and no airbags. It's got no ABS and no airbags. Oh. Ooh. So basically, you, you basically you brake too hard, that's it. You no, 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 I don't, you don't understand. I literally only drive cars like this, so it's oh, really? Yeah. Okay, wicked. We're gonna have a way better time now, I know all of that. Sweet. <laughs> from the driver's side and we will be doing quite a bit of driving today in the car. I really want to experience the DC2 because everybody sees these as possibly the best front wheel drive car ever and I want to experience that. Okay, okay how can you blame me? Especially now I've got permission from Jason to drive the car. The yellow Recaro is just such a standout bit of kit. So let's pop the bonnet and have a look underneath there. This is really, really as close to standard as we're going to see, I think. Like, um, obviously, it's a different kind of rocker cover paint on there. It's like a gloss instead of the the, yeah. the uh, wrinkle red. And then he's got these horrible <laughs> blue washers. 
yeah, other than that, this is really like almost as close as they got out to out coming out of the factory as they did. You know, still got the uh, manifold cover on there. Blimey. Oh, yeah, intake. These are fantastic. Genuinely, you don't need to change those on the DC2. But yeah, I just want to show you under the engine bay so you get to see B18. One of the small mods that Jason's done on the car is our lug nut conversion. So basically, on standard wheels, you shouldn't use our lug nuts, but he got the spacer kits that work, as you can see, sitting there, so they can sit in safely, tighten up correctly, and now he's got the red lug nuts. Do you like them, Jace? Yeah, yeah. Good. Good. I'm glad you said yes, yeah, so I didn't have to push you in front of the next bus. <laughs> I said. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, I don't really know what else to really talk about. I'd rather talk about like the car and how it drives stuff in the car itself, as you can imagine. So he has given me the keys, so I think I should go have some fun. already it is really wobbly which is exactly the same one as I had before but for some reason it's just wobbly as sin and I'm, I don't know if it's gonna make the GoPro that we're using and look bad but I will give it my best shot and worst case I'll have to put overlays on and uh, we'll go via that but we've only got one point of the battery left so we need to make this take count really as a daily driver I'm not sure how I'd get on with it but it is genuinely really nice to drive it feels like a no I know it sounds stupid when you drive it around normally when you're out of VTEC it is a normal car now this is my first like I said true experience with a DC2 where I've actually got to get to grips with it drive it hard drive it soft have fun with it and I, I love it. it I genuinely genuinely love it it's a really really nice car okay so mount position adjusted I just hope this one works so I am now driving this obviously through a little village here in Essex and uh, the car is beautiful. I really like Jason's and the fact that it, does, it doesn't make a lot of noise. It's a very sophisticated feel to this car and for that I really am grateful. It makes the, the actual driving experience really, really nice and I'm not getting all the negative looks from everybody. But the car itself, right, let's talk about this. The, the weight distribution feels absolutely perfect and I, I, I rarely use the word perfect except when I'm talking about myself, you know. I, I truly, truly love it. The fact that this car still has the OEM power is really nice for me to experience. Instead of it being a ridiculously fast one or highly modified, I really feel like I'm getting a true experience of the DC2 itself. So you're gonna see many, many, many VTEC faces. Sorry if, you, if I don't talk too much. I'm concentrating. I really don't want to fucking wreck this car. Oh, get over your side of the fucking road. Oh. Now the DC2 started production in 1996. They made some changes to the car for the 98 models. And came with a different hub pattern. So they come with a five, five stud instead of four. And it doesn't have any ABS in this model. Fucking so good. Like, when you think, like, even the K20s and the EP3s, 200, well, they come with 190. 
seven, didn't they? So, I'm just waiting, man. I'm gonna have to have a window open. Wow, what a car. What an experience driving this car, man. Being a 20, nearly 20 year old, is it 20? What year is it? 2017. 17 year old seats. They're fantastically comfortable. And they're Recaro, so they're, they're, I mean, that's always going to be mean something to me. The steering wheel is the perfect size for driving. I, this this driving position I'm in is is, is perfect. I, how many times have I said perfect? It, I, is that going to be the title? Is the DC2 Type R perfect? Ooh, sounds good, doesn't it? Maybe I should get one and call myself Adam DC2. <laughs> oh, and I'm telling you now, this DC2 is phenomenal. That's the only words I can use to explain it. Absolutely phenomenal. And I cannot explain. Even now, I'm doing 30 miles an hour behind a Ford Fusion C-Max. And I'm like, this is good. I'm, ha I'm not like... <laughs> It's just like, this is rad. And the fact that I'm in a yellow one with yellow Recaros is just ridiculous. Now, any of you American viewers watching this, these are legit yellow Recaros. So the amount of money they'd go for with you is obscene. But I just, I cannot get over how good this car is. I can't, I... <laughs> I'm gonna shut up now and I'm just gonna drive. So I'll catch you back shortly outside the car. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. What an epic car. From the LSD to the way it handles, just, oh, the power is just excellent. So much fun, it looks amazing. And the yellow on yellow combo is fantastic. Jace, quick, come back in here real quick. I just wanna say thank you on camera to you. So, this is Jason. I want you to go follow him on Instagram. Are you in the camera? Yes, you are. I want you to go follow him on Instagram. Say, go leave him a comment going, wow, what a sick whip you own. And yeah, Jace, thank you. Appreciate it, man. So from me here, I really hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe for more videos like this. If you liked it, let me know down below and I will see you again next time. Peace.